girlies what's up welcome back to a new video if you're new here my name is Lauren Alexandria I create content centered around fashion hauls essentials to wear in your wardrobe during the different seasons of the year ways to style different pieces for different types of occasions luxury bag unboxings home decor and a little bit of travel with all that being said today's video will be about none of that Yeah, I know. <laughs> so today's video is something completely different, something new to my channel. And I like to show you guys, you know, current things that are going on in my life or current things that I'm currently loving or really into. So today's video is going to be a Amazon book haul. You guys, look at all these pretty gorgeous books that I recently got from Amazon. So like I said, I love to keep you guys updated with the things that I'm currently loving or into. And I am currently into reading romance novels, you guys. Like I have been so deep in books recently that they almost feel like movies or like I'm actually in them. Is that crazy? I don't know. If you're a reader, let me know if that's something that you feel as well. But yes, I have a Amazon book haul for you guys today. Like I said, look at all these pretty books. So all of these books are romantic comedy because that is the um, like genre I currently love reading or I've always loved reading. Um, Y'all, I've been a huge book reader since probably middle school so of course the Harry Potters the Divergence um all of those books the Twilights all of those I was a huge fan of reading but I recently got back into reading um back in February when I went to New York and I visited the Strand bookstore and I picked up this book this romantic comedy book and I completely fell in love with it and I have been like hooked again ever since so here is this we're going to get right into this haul again if you're new here please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload new and exciting content like this one we're about to get into all right y'all so we're about to get into sharing these books as you see i have them um color coordinated and i'm going to share them that way so i will be explaining the tropes and a little bit what it's about um how much it costs I would say most of these were under $20. Yeah, most of these were under $20 as well as probably under $15. I think it's one that's right at $15. And I'll let you know which one it is. But also most of these did just come out in the month of May. So a lot of these are new. Um, and a lot of these are on my TBR list. So to be read, though I have already gotten through half of them, there are a lot here that I have not read. Okay, so the first book is The Wedding Date. Now, I saw somebody mention this book on Instagram maybe two months ago. And I was like, okay, I'm going to pick it up when the time is right. So I recently got this one in the mail yesterday, you guys. Got it in the mail yesterday and I'm super excited to read it. So this is the first book that is on my TBR list. So it's The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gullery. You guys, I hope I am saying that right. So the trope is like strangers to lovers, I do believe. And it's about this guy named Drew Nicholas who gets this girl named Alexa Monroe to go on a wedding date with him to his ex's wedding crazy heard so much about this book so i'm super super excited to finally read it of course it was on the new york times best-selling arthur list so yeah that is the wedding date and this book cost me nine dollars yes this book was 9.36 so under ten dollars or right at it with like taxes and stuff from amazon <sighs> y'all before I even get started, before I even get started, I just feel myself crying, crying, crying again, all over again. Um, book lovers, book lovers, book lovers, book lovers by Emily Henry. 
as you know Emily Harry is one of those authors that is a automatic buy like an auto buy if she's put out a book I'm gonna automatically buy it I don't care what it is what it's about what other people say the dislikes or likes I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna read it for myself and judge it for myself and nine times out of ten I'm probably going to love it no matter what people have said about it but book lovers y'all I have read plenty and plenty of books plenty of books in my lifetime and I'm only 30 and I have never read such a romantic book in my entire life talk about swoony swept off your feet if you're one of those girls who love that kind of trope um enemies to lovers uh, this book it's definitely a reread. I'm super excited because I'm definitely going to start rereading it this weekend. I just finished it two days ago. And of course, I have my little annotations here. As you can see, I loved it so much. And I have so many annotations. Book lovers. Okay, next up is this book called Olive by Emma Gatton. Y'all. I'm going to be completely honest. I picked up this book because of the cover. That cover is so beautiful. Look how beautiful that cover is, you guys. I mean, so beautiful. It feels amazing, you guys. So this book is about, like, growing pain. She's growing up, trying to figure out life, things like that. Um, and then having to make big choices. So, I have not gotten to this one yet. This is on my to be read list. But, y'all, I really honestly picked it up because of this beautiful cover. Because I'm an artist, I love and appreciate, you know, good cover art, good cover illustration. And that one, and look at that yellow. That is absolutely beautiful with that green. So, I'm super excited to get into this one. It's not a romance novel. So, this is the only romance novel. No, so this is the, so this is the only book in this stack that's not a romance novel. This is just like a coming to age, making life decisions, things like that. Yeah. Okay. So next up is Take a Hint, Danny Brown. So this is by the author Tilla Hibbit. I think I'm saying her name right. Tilla Hibbit. Tilla Hibbit. She is a British author. You guys. I am in love with her writing as well. Plus size, she is a black female author. Yes, girl, yes. Black female author. And another thing I love about her writing is that she puts, she writes about black plus size women um, falling in love with these super hot guys. Like, come on. Like, let's be honest. A lot of people don't see black women, let alone black plus size women, with really hot muscular sexy men but she writes it and she makes it possible for us if we're into that kind of um type of guy she makes it possible for us to be like look hey you can have a hot guy too if you want one so take a hint danny brown is a fake dating trope danny is a college professor at the local college Zaf is the local college or is the college security guard and um she is stuck in the elevator one night and he goes and save her and he's the ex rugby player and people see them and they're like oh my god she's dating him da, 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 da. and it's not true but she's like hey universe i'm looking for sex and all these things but not only does she get sex but she ends up falling in love so I would definitely, definitely go ahead and read this one. I loved it so, so much. Zeph is so cute. Is he one of my favorites? Book boyfriends? Nah. Um, but he is like kind of swoony and romantic when he picks her up and all this other kind of stuff. So I do recommend this book. Next, Colleen Hoover. Colleen, Colleen Hoover. <sighs> Y'all, this is my first Colleen Hoover book. I know the girls love Colleen Hoover. So, of course, I had to get on it. And this book is called The Reminders of Him, a novel, y'all. I'm super excited. I try not to read too much in what people said about this book. But every time I did hear a recommendation, people were like, I cried, I cried, I cried. 
Um, so I'm super exciting. So it says, after serving five years in prison for a tragic mistake, Keanu Ron returns to the town where it all went wrong, hoping to reunite with her four-year-old daughter. But the bridges Kenya burn are proving impossible to rebuild. Everyone in her daughter's life is determined to shut Kenya out, no matter how hard she works to prove herself. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna cry. Did y'all hear that? Oh my god, that just sounded like it was heavy. But I'm so excited to get into this one, y'all. Colleen, I heard she can do no wrong. And I heard this is on the top of a lot of people's reading lists. So we gonna see. Okay, so y'all probably have seen this book all over Instagram or TikTok maybe and it is by lucy score and it is called the things we never got over y'all look how beautiful that cover is that cover is so beautiful this is another book that i bought because of the cover i haven't gotten really into the like reviews that people have been giving because i hate to read reviews and then read the book i like to read it for myself and get my own review but i bought it because of that beautiful beautiful cover and it says bearded boy brava knox prefers to take his life the way he takes his coffee alone unless you count his basset hound waylon knox doesn't tolerate drama even when it comes in the form of a standard runaway bride naomi wasn't just running away from her wedding she was riding to the rescue of her estranged twin to knock them out, Virginia, a rough around the edges town where disputes are settled the old fashioned way with fist and beer, usually in that order. What? Do y'all hear that? Okay. So that just reading the little synopsis alone has me like such a pretty cover and ran away bride want to be alone what y'all i'm super excited to get into this book it just came out last month another may release so and it's pretty thick this is a pretty thick book y'all when they got it in the mail from amazon i was like whoa this book has about let's see 557 pages so it's she's a she's a thicky she's a thicky with small print so we're gonna see if she's an easy read a page turner um but i'm super excited to get into this one so 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 excited okay you guys next up is the love hypothesis now this is a book talk i guess that's what the girls are saying book talk insta talk i'm not on those talks but this book i have been seeing after i purchased it i purchased it like two months ago after i purchased it i saw it everywhere i saw it on book talk i saw it on instagram and i was like why now i got it because it was on my recommended list on amazon my recommended read list on amazon and so i picked it up because i loved how cute the cover was i was like okay that's cute i grabbed it loved it Olive, she is a PhD student and she is trying to stop pancreatic cancer early on. And she accidentally or purposely accidentally kissed Adam Carlson, who she met years before but does not recognize him. But she kisses him to pretend like she is over her ex-boyfriend who her best friend wants to date. So the trope is fake dating. She's fake dating her professor adam carlson just so that her best friend knows that she's moved on from her ex joshua i do that joshua i don't think that's his name yes ex-boyfriend so she's fake dating him and they fall for each other of course okay next book on this amazon haul is another colleen hoover and it is ugly love now I've heard really good things about this book. It is on my to be read list, you guys. I've heard really, really good things. I love that cover. Look at that blue, all these different blues. And the book feels so nice. It has a very nice like kind of feel to it. Very different 
though it is not like the other romance novels that I have with the cartoon characters and stuff like that but it says it is not exactly love at first sight take Collins when she meets the tormented and secretive Miles Archer okay they wouldn't even go so far as to consider themselves friends the only thing that Tate and Miles have in common is a mutual physical attraction that can't be denied okay let me know in the comments below if you would like for me to do a separate video on the reviews of all of these books that are on my to be read list and I will Okay, girlies, the next book on my Amazon haul is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. You guys, that cover is so beautiful. And at first glance, it looks like it's going to remind me of Dawson's Creek. If you know, and if you're old enough, you know what Dawson's Creek is. And it says, they say you can never go home again. But poor for Stephanie Fraser, ever since she made the biggest mistake of her life a decade ago, that has felt so true. Instead of spending glittering summers on the lakeshore of her childhood home, she stays home in a stylish apartment in the city, keeping everyone out of distance. Y'all. Ooh, that sounds juicy. And just reading that, it does sound like it's going to remind me of Dawson's Creek. And she has to go back home to her local hometown, Berry Bay y'all super excited again this is one of those books that came out last month in may and it's not that long it seems like it's going to be a like one day read it only has like exactly 300 pages so yeah i'm probably going to finish this book probably in a day so i'm actually probably going to get into it this weekend i know it's going to reread book lovers but now i'm thinking about it i think i'm going to go ahead and start every summer after because i'm going to be spending time by the pool this weekend so we're gonna get into this one okay next you guys does that cover look a little familiar uh i hope so because it's also another book by talia hibbett the one that i mentioned get a hint danny brown the yellow cover um so this one is called get a life chloe brown so tia habit has a series book of the brown sisters and this is the first one in that series take a hint danny brown is the second one and then she has a third one called um act your age evie brown um which i also have as well but this one is get a life and it is strangers to lovers or were they enemies I don't know. I feel like they were both. Strangers to Lovers as well as Enemies to Lovers. Anyway, really cute book. Loved it. Um, Cole Brown, she's sick. She has like this kind of disorder. And so she kind of like just focuses on her work and stuff and don't let anybody in. And then her boyfriend Redford. Ugh. Every time I say his name, Redford, reminds me of Robert Redford. Redford, he works in her apartment building and they're always arguing or da 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 Of course, they fall for each other. Another book that Talia wrote for plus size black women falling in love with really hot redhead guys. Love, love, love this book. I read it in like a day. No, I lie. I read it in two days. I read it in two days. Was it a page turner? Eh, not really. It was an easy read. I wouldn't just say, oh my god, I couldn't put it down. But it was good. It does have some spice to it, ladies. So if you like the spice, it does. The spice is on like a, a 4 out of 5 stars. So, spiciness. So, yeah. Alright, and the last book on this Amazon haul is called In 5 Years by Rebecca Sterling. You guys, this book has completely wrecked me i've never cried over a book before until this one like oh my gosh it is it is a romance novel but it's not the romance that you're expecting um so it's about this girl named diane she has this perfect life at this lawyer firm and this boyfriend proposal da, 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 and she wakes up in five years to a different life y'all y'all so so good 
it's definitely an airport read a one sitting read very very short book but it is so good i cry my eyes out it is a page turner i could not put it down y'all i couldn't even work i read it in one day one day I woke up at 8, I believe, and I read it all the way to midnight. One day. So, so, so good. All right, guys. So, that is my Amazon book haul. Again, I did get all of these from Amazon within the past two weeks. Yes, within the past two weeks, except for In Five Years and The Love Hypothesis. Everything else I got in the past two weeks and i'm super excited to read them as you can tell most of them are on my to be read list and i'm going to get into every summer after probably today so yeah i'm super excited to get into colleen hoover because she's the girl's favorite right now um as i've seen all over tiktok or instagram people are really in love with her writing so i'm super excited to get to know her style of writing as well I also did pick up some book tabs so if you're an annotation or somebody who loves to annotate like me I did pick up a couple of book tabs from Amazon as well and a lot of these match the books so pretty like look at this one that's a pretty color match the book as well so if you're looking for some new tabs as well, I'm going to link that below. Um, but yeah, all the books that I mentioned, again, are linked below. If you saw one that just was like, man, yes, I've been looking at that book. I loved what you said about it. I'm going to go check it out. All the books are linked below if you wish to, you know, do a little research on it yourself. Or you're just like, okay, I'm so, I'm going to get that book to read it. It's linked below for you, girly. And again, if you're new here, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new content, new and exciting content like this. Though I normally do fashion content, like I said, I wanted to keep you guys, you know, updated on the things that I'm currently into. And I'm currently into romance novels, definitely with all the um, shootings and mass shootings going on in the States right now. I kind of had to escape a little bit from social media and reading these romance novels have helped me so 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 much so yeah again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye